Well, this is an interesting development. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here for the PBF Season 7 Finals. And it is not A1 Gallade vs. That Mad Bren. Unfortunately, A1 has been absent for so long that the League has chosen to eliminate him from the game. Like, basically give That Mad Bren the forfeit win. Which is, you know, pretty pretty disappointing. Um, he, he said he would be gone a long time, and... Uh, and he was, so I guess he was just gone longer than anyone was expecting. The league did give him quite a bit of time, uh, a lot longer than I know they would would have ideally wanted to give him. And uh, seems they just uh, reached their limit and came to a decision to uh, eliminate him. And in addition to that, they felt it would be a very anticlimactic way to end the finals to just have Bren be given a, a forfeit win, which I agree with. So what they did was they they're, they're given the uh, the spot of A1 to me, who lost to A1. So I'm being given like a second chance at this, which I, I don't really like. I don't like the way this feels. I don't really like anything about it, but I do agree with their decision to make the finals a non-forfeit win. So I will... I'll definitely uh, take this second chance, hopefully, in defeating that Mad Bren and becoming the champion that I feel I truly can be. That being said, though, it has been so long since I even looked at my team, so I prepped in about an hour and uh, came up with this team to use against that Mad Bren. Anyway, the team I will be bringing to use against him is Yachi Berry Gliscor, Hyper Cutter. This is more like a late game setup. Um, Yachi Berry to live like Coco's HP Ice. Um, I think I live anyway, unless Specs or maybe E Belt. But this, uh, you know, guarantees I got off in agility. I have enough speed to outspeed Modest Scarf Coco after an agility, as well as enough regular speed to outspeed um, Vanillix, I want to say. Something around that speed tier. Choppleberry uh, Curum. Uh, this was originally Manaphy. But I ended up swapping it at the last minute. Who is DMing me? It's not Brand Rip. But yeah, uh, sub roost, uh, two attacks, uh, HP EVs for uh, sub, so you can get uh, five of them. But yeah, Chopple for Infernape at minus one, I believe. Earth Power is a guaranteed Oko versus uh, Infernape. And then, yeah, Ice Beam. Is, I, I, I wanted Toxic to wear down maybe like Melodic that I figured would come in versus me. But being able to, you know, roost stall it maybe out of Scalds, I think, would be nice, too. So, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. What's this? <laughs> Scoot. Okay. Um, here I got Spec Chandelure. Um, when I was making the team, it looked uh, surprisingly weak to uh, Vanillix. And something else, too. I think it might have been, like, Melodic or Infernape or, or something. I know I was looking incredibly weak to something, so I saw Chandelure and I'm like, okay, this will work. Then I noticed, like, Specs Chandelure puts in work with a capital W. Like, Specs Overheat nearly kills anything except, like, Melodic. So, Overheat is nice. I also got Flamethrower in case I don't want to be, uh, you know, locked into Overheat. Uh, Shadow Ball, nice, uh... Ghost Sab, which is also very nice versus team, with the exception of Dodrio. And then uh, Energy Ball for, um, where's that? Melodic. Enough speed for uh, Vanillix. Shoka Barrier Ico, Calm Mind, T Bolt, Extra Sensory HP Ice. This also had Toxic originally. And now I see I don't have Toxic anywhere on the team. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> okay. Uh, forgot I changed so many. Toxic, so now I don't have Toxic on the team, but we got uh, enough speed for uh, 350 uh, Latios uh, with Calm Mind, HP Ice, Extra Sentry, and Thunderbolt, like I said, uh, Shoka Berry, so I can live Quakes from Mega Venusaur primarily, um, then to it KO it with Extra Sentry, hopefully. It's also for, I guess, like Mudsdale, but even then, it would have to be weakened pretty severely to be to it KO'd by HP Ice, so there's that. Um, Arrow, which is kind of like a cleaner. Three attacks, Earthquake, Wing Attack, and Crunch. Uh, the same three kind of attacks that my Gliscor has. Uh, Acrobatics, Earthquake, Knockoff. But yeah, the uh, the idea behind this is to Agility on an HP Ice and uh, 
outspeed anything, and if it's late game enough, hopefully his walls, like melodic, uh, horse, who is damning me now? Okay, that's Bren. Uh, have been weakened, so I can just uh, sweep the team. That's the plan. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's my rocker. Uh, I wanted so many moves on this thing, but eventually decided this would be, uh, you know, best. I'm adamant. Uh, that way I can, you know, hit Mega Venus or uh, Coco, uh, I guess, Kofagrigus and Latias harder. And yeah, I should still outspeed everything, provided no scarf. Then finally, uh, this mon was a bit of a toss up at the end, too. I was debating uh, Celebi, I believe it was originally, but I decided on uh, speed boosting uh, Scolipede to like kind of combat his um, speed boosting Sharpedo, which is uh, particularly threatening versus my team. Uh, Celebi originally had Colberberry as a way of checking Sharpedo, but now I got this um, Earthquake and Megahorn as my two attacks. Life Orb, if I didn't say that already. Uh, T Spikes, which I feel will be pretty nice versus his team. And then Endeavor. Jolly, enough speed for uh, 350 uh, Latias. And uh, you know, a bit of bulk, um, enough to hopefully live like, what was it? Um, I think like Earthquake from Mudsdale. So uh, it'll bring me down low, but then I can Endeavor it and maybe sweep with Gliscor. So that's kind of the uh, idea behind uh, the Scolipede, as well as uh, the whole team. So uh, I'm going to see what Bren wants and hopefully get this battle going. All right, so Bren has sent the challenge. This looks like the team, so I'm just going to accept. Okay, uh, pretty expected team. Um, I don't have to worry about, like, a Kofagrigus, but Melodic is still going to be an issue that I have to uh, watch out for. I kind of want to lead Arrow, like it doesn't lead too badly versus much except Melodic. I don't know what I could lead well, he didn't bring Venusaur either, hold up. That's uh, surprising, but yeah, I don't know now. Maybe I should just lead uh, Chandelure, because I doubt he would lead Sharpedo or Melodic. I think I want to lead Chandelure. Yeah, he led this, um, let me calc and make sure. I will live an Earthquake if he goes for it. Shadow Ball looks incredibly strong. I could go Arrow, like, expecting a, an Earthquake, but he could also have a Stone Edge, so I'm not sure I want to do that. I think I will just fire off a Shadow Ball, see what that gets me. He does have Quake. Okay. Life Orb Quake. Did not expect Life Orb versus my team at all. That is going to be huge. Like... It's not over, but that was such a huge threat versus his team, and he just killed me effortlessly. And I didn't get anything out of it other than knowing he's Life Orb now. I guess I can Mega and Stealth Rock as this comes in. Now I go... what do I go? No, no Venusaur, so I think I will go hard this as he Dragon Pulses, probably expecting Kyurem. What is that damage? Good lord. 44. That's like modest. Okay, interesting. In that case, I will get up a T-Spike. Oh my god, his mons are so strong. I didn't think that would even come close to killing. I don't think I can win this game, like, at all. I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. I think it might kill this, but probably not. He's probably like, max HP, uh, max special attack. Walk on Barry Melodic. And he gets the burn instantaneously. Kinda wanna calm mine now, on his switch to maybe Lottie. Or is staying in sack, uh, ooh, very nice. Now I'll T-bolt and still lived, and he recovered again. Not sure why, uh, yeah, I don't know what the, okay, he just sacked his melodic. Maybe trying to, uh, just instantly win with Sharpedo, but I do have this, so, and I got my T-spike up, so... Unless he, like, flinches me with 
Wait, Crunch can't flinch. Yeah, I, I think I'm good. Uh, he went Sharpedo. So, there's that. I think I can save this, actually. But I'm probably in range of so many attack. Like, pretty sure I'm in range of Coco already. If I switch out, because I won't have the boost anymore. Um, Infernite probably has Mock Punch, which I probably die to. This is probably Scarf. So, I don't see a point. Like, I know he's gonna protect here, but I don't have a point. He might even have Aqua Jet or something. He does have Aqua Jet, but it doesn't kill. And we get rid of Sharpedo. And it's a double down here. Oh boy. Um, okay. What do I... I need this to take a heavy hit. I think I can go cure him. I think. Because like this... This doesn't matter. Um, unless this kills with like Dragon Pulse. I'm sure Draco kills, but... Dragon Pulse. Um, no Life Orb. Doesn't kill. Draco barely does. I'm just gonna beam. He has Draco. I live. And... He lives. Huh. Now. I need to see how much I do to, um... Uh, ice Cream. 58... No item. Uh, still, still not in range. I need one hit off on Vanillax in order to do this. Okay, he's Psychics. I think I go Arrow now. Okay, if, he, if he's Scarf Ice Beam, I wonder if I live. Ice Beam still kills instantly. So I don't know if... Setting up now is the play? Because I need a hit on Vanillax. Hopefully he'll just go arrow after this. Actually, do I... I think I outspeed... No, I don't. Knock this out. Okay, Coco coming out. I'm trying to think how I can lose this. He should be in range of Earthquake right now. Okay, I think I do Quake. He was Shooka. T-Bolt will knock me out. I can go... Okay, I, this might work because... I don't think it will. Because the poison's not going to activate when I need it to. Dazzling Gleam. There's the agility. That didn't even pop my thing. Hmm... So I kind of need to crit right now, and I didn't get it. Man. <sighs> I don't know what to say. I feel like... I, I definitely played a little recklessly at the beginning, but never in my life did I expect Life Orb 8 versus my team. Um, I also didn't expect Modest, Max Special Attack, Melodic to just two-hit KO my Scolipede. So, I definitely could have played better. Uh, this was a pretty, pretty disappointing uh, championship battle, but was better than a forfeit win, so good game, Bren. So yeah, as uh, disheartening as it is to have been given a second chance and still squandered it, um, I would have been a little, would have felt a little undeserved had I beat Bren and uh, got the championship, I guess. So, I, I'd say I'm pretty happy with this outcome. Still uh, a little disappointed for uh, A1, but you know how it be sometimes. Congratulations, though, to that Mad Bren with your 15-minute uh, prep. Mine was about an hour myself, so I don't know if uh, if I would have prepped any longer. I would have been able to play differently. I don't think... I think I prepped well. I think I just played... And it's not even the way I played. I just didn't expect things like Life Orb, uh, Infernape... Uh, max special attack melodic to two at KO my Scolipede so I can't even say I'm disappointed with my uh, prepping or playing so yeah I'm, I guess I'm content with uh, the outcome so like I said congrats to Bren who is now the PBF season 7 champion um, I'm not gonna make another uh, conclusion video but figured this would be a uh, you know a nice little video especially considering we won't be having an NNDL video this week
But yeah, I'm going to get on out of here. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.